Hello and welcome back to another show. I'm Sid and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to, well, essentially create a filter like this, like a tattoo overlay which tracks to the face. You can put them anywhere you like. And yeah, so I'm going to teach you how to do that. This is the finished product and if I try to minimize this, we can create a new one. Or or I'll have to have it open, I guess, to create a new one, and then we'll minimize it. And once I can get it over here, we can switch back over. So here I am, normal, and let's open up GIMP. GIMP is a software editing program that I'm going to be using. It's just the same as Photoshop, except open source and free, which I prefer because Photoshop is quite expensive. Uh, all the links to everything I'm going to be using is are down in the description below, including the face reference asset pack, which you can find uh, on the Spark website, or just again in the link below. So, first thing we're going to want to do is open up the reference assets and go into the textures folder. I'm going to be using the masculine, but you can go for feminine if that's more towards what your effect is or what your look is going for. Uh, and then I'm just going to add the normal face mesh. You can add the mesh with the trackers, but for the purposes of this, it's just going to be easier to do it like this. We also won't really be using it. But then I have over here in this folder called Tattoos uh, a collection of PNG files that I've collected from the internet. Some of them weren't PNGs when I got them, I made them transparent. But yeah, so you can draw these yourself if you're good <laughs> at Photoshop and GIMP and all these other photo editing softwares uh, but programs but I'm not so I just got mine from Google so uh, yeah so let's oh, let's drag some of these in here <laughs> that worked and then let's let's go with we had the alien in there before so let's get that again and then uh, maybe like the star and the dollar sign. As you can see, they're all coming in, individually layered, uh, and they're all giant. So we're gonna have to resize them first thing. So we'll come over to the scale tool, drag this down, resize it, make it much much smaller, and then oh, stay on that. We we'll go to our star layer. We we'll do the same thing. So that's giant, very much in the way right now. Uh, then we can come over and move it a little bit. Go back, scale it again. Move it. Oh. It's very easy to move the wrong thing. But yeah, do the same with the dollar sign. We'll scale that down a lot. And then we'll move it up. Or just paint it. Because I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. So I was thinking something like this where the alien sign is still up in the middle yep and a little bit like that maybe swap these over yeah so let's scale this down a little bit more somewhere around there is probably good throw that on and then we'll go to the star we'll do the same thing I know I don't really use a shortcut for uh, this, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> I don't care. It's, it's Command S if you're on a Mac. I don't know what it is for Windows. It still feels too big because it's black, because it's a solid black. It's, uh, it feels much bigger. So I'm just going to make a little smaller and move it there. And then we'll grab our alien. Yeah, and we'll move that here to scale up a little bit. Maybe just a little, just about there. Put that on. Like that. Okay, so now we've got our three tattoos in place. Uh, we can remove the layer uh, with our masculine mask. And then we can export this file to the desktop. We're going to save it as three uh, face tattoo. PNG. Ah, it saved into the... Nope, it didn't. It's always saving into the wrong place. Okay, now we'll try to the desktop. Lovely. So I can minimize this. 
and we get straight back into Spark AR. So uh, that should be over here. Yes, as you can see, we've got our face tattoo. It's quite transparent now. You see these white lines a little bit. You could go in and change them, but for the purposes of this tutorial, it's not so relevant. Uh, next up. So in your project file, you're going to need to add an object, and it's going to be a face mesh. And when you insert the face mesh, here it is, meshing on my face. Okay, and once you've done that, enable a material layer. Here's your material layer down here. So we'll call this face, and we'll call this, no, nope, we'll call this face mesh, because we don't need that zero, that's all. So the only change you need to make very important change, but other than that, exactly the same. And with this, <laughs> we're just going to call it uh, tab two. That's the end of that sentence. Then we'll go to flat, so it's completely white. Add a new texture. Uh, these are the ones I made earlier. <laughs> this is the one we're working with for now. So we add that to our layer. And there you go. As you can see, the alien's a little bit stretched out. But you can go back into your file and transform them and move them around and things. And eventually, yeah, you will end up with something more like this. Still very stretched out, but you know what I'm saying? I think they're both cool, actually. kind of like it. I think it's just because it's maybe a little too high on my forehead where I made it too big. But anyway, yeah. These tattoos track nicely. Uh, you can change the opacity to make them a little bit more realistic on the face. 69 is always a good one. Yeah, this is just a quick tutorial. I'm trying to keep them under 10 minutes for the next couple, just so I can get them out before I go to work. Probably try and redo this uh, in like two or three minutes now without any dialogue. So if anybody made it this far and just wants a quick summary because they couldn't keep track, because I kept losing track that is going to be available as well so subscribe like comment all that stuff and i don't know thanks for watching i guess because i've only posted a couple of videos over the last few days and there's already been like 50 60 people watching uh, some guy already liked one of them so that's cool uh yeah i'm learning as i go so it's interesting to see that people also want to watch these videos of me learning that's all i don't know uh thanks for watching Bye.